He is a colourful outlaw biker boss, named as the national president of Australia's largest organised crime network, and now he's been locked up, apparently for going into hiding after hearing of a $3 million bounty on his head. Police breaking that news to him at his new out-of-the-way home didn't go over well. It's all part of another big push by Australian police against outlaw motorcycle clubs, made the country's public enemy number one, where weeks of raids, arrests and searches have been taking more swipes at the bikers, or bikies as they're called down under. The mob reporter here with news on Alan Meehan facing the fallout from becoming the ostentatious face of a powerful biker club, including his associate becoming the first victim of a new law that makes not unlocking your phone for police a crime. Let me tell you. We know Alan Meehan is an outlaw because it's tattooed on his neck. Who are we to argue? He's the confident, swaggering leader of the Comanchero Motorcycle Club, which has a prodigious presence on the country's streets. The Aussie underworld has been whispering that Meehan is under threat from rivals, with a heavy price on his head. His own lawyer says Meehan relocated with his family to a new state because of warnings of an underworld bounty. He said police told Meehan there was a $3 million hit out for him. Police disputed that price tag, but not the underlying fact. The pricey residential suburb of Benoa Waters, where he was arrested on Australia's beautiful Gold Coast, features pleasant family homes and waterfront mansions. The early morning arrest, as we see here, on Thursday, February 9, 2023, was at a lovely modern rental home in a leafy, sparkling neighbourhood. Perhaps most importantly for him, it's a nine-hour drive away from Sydney, where most of Australia's fiercest gangland friction happens, and where his face is instantly recognised. For police, though, his new home's notable feature is that it's in another state, in Queensland, north of his registered address in New South Wales. Back in his home state, he is under a serious crime prevention order issued against him in November. An SCPO, as they're called, is like being released on strict bail conditions, without first having faced a criminal charge. It's a Made in Australia action designed to target figures deemed to be involved in dangerous serious crimes, to curtail their movement and activities, and allow for proactive police interventions. Police say he shut down his phone and got in a car heading out of state almost immediately after those restrictions were placed on him. Police contend he wasn't really running from gangland rivals, but rather from the long arm of the law. Meehan's arrest in Queensland was followed by a prompt extradition the next day. He was flown back south, as seen here, and then escorted through the busy Sydney airport, flanked by police and chased by reporters. His Friday midday arrival turned a lot of heads. It was big news at home, as media were tipped to his arrival. Did you leave out of fear for your safety? Are you scared for your life? Police allege Meehan breached conditions of his serious crime prevention order by not telling authorities he was leaving town, where he was staying, and when he was returning. He also allegedly used an encrypted communication device, which would be another breach. As part of their investigation, police conducted two search warrants in New South Wales, targeting known associates of the Comancharos. A heavily tattooed 33-year-old man was arrested in the raids. You see him here. He's the one on the ground. Meehan's friend was charged with various offences, including intending to pervert the course of justice, possessing prohibited drug, and dealing with the proceeds of crime. He just made a little piece of criminal history, becoming the first person charged under a new law a digital access order which compels people to open, unlock, and allow police access to their communications devices. This guy allegedly refused. Regular viewers of The Mob Reporter will remember Alan Meehan from my episode on his friend, the hard-to-kill bikey boss Terex Ahead, who was shot ten times in an assassination bid that also killed his brother. Zahed was shot multiple times, 
including in the face in May 2022, and shockingly survived. Mian caused disturb by announcing the return to duty of Zahed, his National Sergeant at Arms for the Comanchero MC, in photos posted on Instagram. The photo showed Zahed hanging with pals at a wedding reception. Mian has his arms spread around him and tagged the photo, Welcome Back Tarek, dubbing him Hard to Kill. A second photo shows Mian kissing Zahed on the cheek. A third shows Zahed returning the kiss. They clearly wanted everyone to know they're still buddies. Not everyone feels the same way about them. Alan Meehan is now 35 years old and a married father. He grew up poor and as a teenager joined the Rebels Motorcycle Club, which is the largest outlaw club in Australia by full patch count. He rose through the ranks and became a chapter president in the Rebels before jumping to the Comanchero brand around 2014. His easy manner and natural leadership saw him continue his rise to prominence in his new colors. He was named a chapter president in 2021, and last June, after National President Mick Murray faced a murder charge, Meehan was picked to fill his shoes. Soon after, police served him notice they were applying for a serious crime prevention order against him in court. Here you see that notification process two New South Wales police officers hand-delivering it to him at his home one morning. Am I the only one who thought Mian was going to light the court order on fire instead of just lighting a smoke? Now that would have been an Instagrammable moment. The court order didn't take effect until months later, and in the interim he seemed to enjoy the swagger that comes with leading one of the most feared clubs in the country. After the SCPO, however, Meehan shut down his lively Instagram account robbing followers like me of memes like this. After his arrest and enforced return to Sydney, Meehan had a court appearance, during which he was refused release on bail. He now remains behind bars until he can convince a judge his incarceration is unfair or unnecessary. His legal battle comes as politicians and police in Australia continue to wage an extraordinary battle against outlaw bikey clubs. With some of the most strident laws in the Western world already at their disposal, police in New South Wales warned they weren't backing away from the powerful court restrictions. In fact, a police spokesman said they're considering ratcheting up the pressure by seeking serious crime prevention orders, like they placed on Mian, against national presidents of all of the outlaw motorcycle clubs present in the state. One of those areas that we're closely looking at is national presidents or heads of outlaw motorcycle groups living in New South Wales to determine if those individuals require a serious crime prevention order. Please tap the thanks button to send me a tip. Please like, comment, subscribe, and also share this video on social media to give it a boost. That would really help. Thanks for watching.